range 85, range rate negative decimal 5, target 1 reticle below the center of SCA. A little over three hours following its launch from the Baikonur Cosmodrome, Soyuz now 80 meters away from docking. Seventy. The target is practically in the center. Sixty meters minus twenty range rate, the target is in the center. Copy. Fifty six final approach, and the target is in the middle. We're expecting the SVP activation. About 50 meters separating Soyuz from station, passing across the Adriatic Sea. Inaudible. This view from Soyuz looking uh, down at the docking port on the Rosviet module. The LED is on. Inaudible. We copy. Now we display illumination is expected any moment, and we are selecting the display. We copy. R5 command has been sent. Range is range is about 30 meters, three zero. And uh, shall I do it back? Yes. Just like that. That looks great. So we have the uh, display elimination has been left with two bars. We copy. 35 meters now separating uh, Soyuz from station, closing at a rate of a about one-tenth of a meter per second, which is the perfect rate of closure for contact and capture. Final approach. We copy. Uh, visually, we see the station and the rate. The range is uh, about five meters. The target is in the middle, and the hooks have been collected. About 25 meters separating uh, Soyuz from station. Perfect alignment at this moment, closing at a rate of one tenth of a meter per second. Inaudible. Bever air is on. So we are ready.
for the instructions from SSVP. We copy. The target is a bit to the left, about one cell from over the VSK display. Uh, range is about 12 meters. The oxa collected and the target is uh, to the left by one cell format. Range is inaudible. The target is in the middle. Just about 12 meters separating Soyuz from station. A range is methodically closing uh, towards uh, an impending docking to the International Space Station. And the target is about half a cell to the right from VSK display. Range is about four meters. The hooks have been collected, and the target is a bit to the right on the VSG. We are expecting contact. Flight controller standing by for contact and capture. Range is two. Expecting contact. The target is in the center. We've got it. Contact confirmed. Capture confirmed. And uh, we're going Docking to confirmed at 12.06 p.m. Central Time, 1.06 p.m. Eastern Time. Soyuz MS-22 docked to the International Space Station over southern Russia to complete a journey of just over three hours in duration. We are working through the procedure. Okay, on ENP-2, please select the SSVP format display. We copy. So all the parameters have been recorded. 236. Fuel 512. We copy. The next step will be the uh, retraction of motion between the two vehicles dampens out. That uh, will bring uh, the two docking surfaces into contact with one another to initiate the closing of hooks. Zara is on. Yes, so we are deactivating. Altai Moscow, go ahead. Altai is here, go ahead. Once again, uh, about as textbook as they come, a flawless uh, launch from the Baikonur Cosmodrome, an uneventful rendezvous and docking to bring Frank Rubio of NASA and Roscosmos cosmonauts Sergei Prokopiev and Dmitry Patelin 
to the International Space Station. Three hours, 12 minutes from launch to docking. Contact and capture occurring at 12.06 p.m. Central, 1.06 p.m. Eastern. Docking probe currently retracting. Alta is Moscow. Go ahead. We are ready for the first set of measurements. We are ready to copy. Pressure 20, 29. The crew is reporting pressure values in Bell 861. Altai, please continue reporting and your narrative on the hooks driving. With the uh, docking probe having uh, retracted, hooks uh, will drive now to form a hard mate uh, between Soyuz and the Rosviet module docking port. Altai, Moscow. Go, high, go ahead, Altai-1 is here. Altai, what step are you on? Uh, we are expecting uh, the message that hooks uh, are closed to come up. We copy. So C-13 is on and 18 is no longer lit up. That is... Correct, S-13 is in place. So hooks are open. We're expecting the message that hooks are closed. We copy. D-15 is lit up. Hooks are closed. And the latches have been extended. And the uh, latches have been taken in place. And we have confirmation uh, from telemetry and from the uh, crew on board Soyuz that the hooks have closed. So we now have a hard mate between Soyuz and the Rosviet module. Altai, Moscow. Go ahead, Altai-1 is here. So we're expecting the next set of measurements. Give me just a minute, please. We copy. Yes, we still have another minute to go. We copy. Yes, the 
Yes, we have the message lit up that the latches have been extended. We copy. We copy all Altais. This is Mission Control Houston. The uh, Soyuz MS-22 with NASA's Frank Rubio and Roscosmos cosmonaut Sergei Prokopiev and Dmitry Patelin on board completed a three-hour, 12-minute transit from the launch pad of the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan to a docking a few minutes ago at 12.06 p.m. Central Time, 1.06 p.m. Eastern Time at the Rosviet module, Earth-facing port of the International Space Station. Everything uh, went flawlessly from launch, rendezvous, docking, all of the activities by the book. No issues whatsoever, as the three crew members now will work through leak checks on their side of the uh, docking interface uh, before they pressurize uh, the small passageway between Soyuz and Rosvia that will be the precursor to the opening of the hatch on the Soyuz side of the docking uh, interface and uh, Oleg Artemiev opening up the hatch on the station side of the docking interface to allow the three new crew members to come on board. And that uh, will mark the beginning of their six months on board the International Space Station. So we'll be back a little over two hours from now at 2.30 p.m. Central Time, 3.30 p.m. Eastern Time on the public channel with our hatch opening coverage following today's uh, docking of the Soyuz MS-22 to the International Space Station. The public channel now goes back to the Kennedy Space Center where continuing coverage of the uh, Space Launch System cryogenic tanking test has been ongoing throughout the day. We'll see you at 2.30 p.m. Central, 3.30 p.m. Eastern Time for Soyuz hatch opening coverage. In the meantime, this is Mission Control Houston.